Moment uh, generating function. We have a random variable x with a PDF f of x is equals to lambda e less to minus lambda x. And I uh, want to use that to find the moment generating function. M x of t is equals to the expected of e is to power t x. And this can be expressed as from 0 to infinity, e raised to power t x, f of x dx. And we know the f of x is given by lambda e raised to power minus lambda x dx. And so based on that equation, we can write it out. And this gives us lambda 0 to infinity e raised to power negative x lambda minus t dx, which we could also have written it as 0 to infinity e raised to power x t minus lambda dx. So we take the power, we differentiate it, and then we divide with it. So it will be lambda divided by t minus lambda. Then we have e x t minus lambda from 0 to infinity. Remember, if we try to get the e raised to power infinity, we'll have a challenge. So we are going to rewrite the function inside here, and we're going to rewrite it in terms of, we're going to rewrite it that way. Why are we doing this? So that when we substitute the infinity, this will converge to zero, and that will help us to be able to get the value of that. Therefore, we can write this as lambda, t minus lambda e raised to power negative infinity minus e raised to power zero uh, in the equation. And that will give us, if we had differentiated it in this form now, we have substituted, then it would mean that we have a negative sign here and another negative sign there. Therefore, I could comfortably write it as t uh, lambda t minus lambda as the final solution without the negative sign. So what happened to the negative sign is because of uh, alternating these two, when I differentiate the power, that will change. But also, then this would have changed also. This would affect the solution here. This will not remain as t minus lambda, but it will be left as lambda minus t. So you have that option of writing it as lambda over lambda minus t, or it would have been negative lambda t minus lambda. Any of that would have given us the moment generating function for the PDF that you have been given there. With the knowledge of the moment generating function, we can get the expected value of x. So we want to find the expected value of x. We, the, the most common method we'd have used would have been to introduce x, then we introduce the, the function that we have, which is equals to minus lambda minus 2 x dx. I do not want to go through that method. You can go through it, but the solutions will be the same. What I would want to do is I would want to get the first derivative of the moment generating function, uh, lambda minus t squared. So here, what we have done is we've getting the m over dt. Then we know that expected of x is the m x prime at t is equals to zero. And that will give us lambda all over lambda squared, which is 1 over lambda. So this is the same solution we would have obtained if we solve this equation uh, using integration by parts. K 
keeping in mind that we are integrating with respect to x so our lambda would have been a constant in that integration but would have given us the same solution now for us to be able to get the variance we would require the expected of x squared when we have been given the moment this moment second derivative at t is equals to zero will give us the expected of x squared so therefore we want to get the second derivative of the moment because we have the first one which is negative 2 lambda divided by lambda minus t raised to power 3. So we have mx at 0 which is 2 lambda all over lambda cubed which is 2 over lambda squared so that's how you get the expected value and this is the expected value of x squared and the variance of x is the expected of x squared minus expected of x everything squared which is 2 over lambda squared minus 1 over lambda squared and that gives us 1 over lambda squared as the solution for that uh, equation that you have so if you are given the moment generating function the first derivative gives us the expected of x so what are the steps you would need to follow one you find the mx of t two the expected of x is the mx first derivative at t is equals to zero and then three the variance or the expected squared will be the second derivative at t is equals to zero and then the fourth step is for you to get the variance of x which is basically uh, the second derivative uh, minus the first derivative at zero and then you square the solution.